there was an incident in Pasadena, California. I was there. I don't drink much coffee. I don't have a relationship with caffeine. But every now and then, I'll be delighted to have a nice cup of hot cocoa. And I went to one of these coffee houses, you know, with the chalkboard out front. And so I had, you know the kind I'm talking about. They're all over Brooklyn. You trip on the chalkboards in Brooklyn. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm in there. I order hot chocolate. And I order it with whipped cream, of course, right? And it comes to the table, and there's no whipped cream. And I said, I ordered this with whipped cream. And they said, oh, we put it on. And I said, well, where is it? Oh, he said, it's sunk to the bottom. <laughs> I then said, <laughs> either the laws of physics that apply everywhere in the universe are suspended in your coffee shop, <laughs> or you didn't put whipped cream on my hot cocoa. <laughs> and he looked indignant. Really? <laughs> now, to his credit, rather than continue to argue with me, he intended to prove me wrong. Whoa. So he went into the kitchen, brought out the, the whipped cream, scooped it up, popped it in my, in my hot cocoa, and it bobbed once and floated atop. And there it was. <laughs> did you of invite Of course whipped cream. No, of it. course whipped cream has to float. <laughs> because first of all, before it was whipped cream, it was cream, okay? <laughs> and old timers remember, what does cream do in unhomogenized milk? It floats to the top. And you skim off the cream, leaving behind skim milk, okay? This is how that works. Now you take the heavy cream and then whip it, putting air into it. It is not going to sink on any known liquid devised by man, okay? So 